Welcome back to CW Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here. Good morning. Nice crisp morning here in Central Iowa. Mm -hmm. Hope you can get out and enjoy yourself throughout the day. But you know what happens around here about 9 o'clock every morning? We like to learn a little something about the state of Iowa that happened on this day. And with that in mind, we head over to the eastern portion of the state of Iowa, Jackie. And we say good morning to the one and only Professor Jeff Stein. Good morning to you both. Good morning. All right, we're looking for a performance this morning, Professor, as we're <laughs> talking about an actress today. We're talking about acting. Indeed, we are. From the time she was born in Marshalltown on this date, September 26th of 1946, Mary Beth Supinger knew she was an actress. She once told an interviewer that the first play she ever saw was put on by children in her neighborhood. She then realized that the people she saw on TV and in movies were actors. And once she knew that, she understood that she did not want to be an actress someday. In fact, she already was an actress. Her older next door neighbor and babysitter was Jean Seberg, who herself would become a world renowned actress at a very young age. Mary Beth graduated from the University of Iowa in 1968 and then went on to study at the New York University Tisch School of the Arts. She was married for a time to actor William Hurt, and that's when she became known professionally as Mary Beth Hurt. She made her New York stage debut in 1974 and has been nominated for no fewer than three Tony Awards. Her film debut was in Woody Allen's dramatic film Interiors, she played the middle sister in that movie. She also played Helen Holm Garp in The World According to Garp and was featured in director Martin Scorsese's film, The Age of Innocence. And Mary Beth Hurt actually played Jean Seberg through voiceover in a 1995 documentary about her fellow Marshalltown native. And she is still acting her most recent film entitled Change in the Air and it was completed for release earlier this year, according to the Internet Movie Database. She once said she had never been cast as a mistress, instead as the girl men marry, not the one they have affairs with. Always an actress, Mary Beth Supinger Hurt, born in Marshalltown, on this date in 1946. How about that, knowing her a destiny at such a young age? It's one of those things that, again, when you're called to something, whether it is a certain profession or whether it is a, a trade in which you have skill or an athlete, when you feel that, there's just nothing that keeps you from it. And as noted, she turned 72 today and not long ago completed her most recent full-length motion picture. How about Unbelievable. that? Unbelievable. Yeah. Professor, when did you get the calling of being a renowned uh, radio star? Oh, that, uh, I didn't know what I was called to do. I still haven't uh, answered. Like, yeah, you haven't answered the phone yet, right? Me. I just, I don't know which ones to answer. So uh, I have a multi-line phone, Jackie, and I just answer things as they come in and, and shift gears uh, with, with no discernible path to success. I completely understand, Professor. <laughs> yeah, we're all, we're all waiting for the dance of the phones ourselves, so we know what you mean. Okay. I'm still waiting for Broadway to call, but I, we'll, we'll wait and see. But thank you for sharing this incredible story that shows that it doesn't matter where you were born, even small town Iowa, if you have a dream, you can make it happen. So thank Absolutely. you for sharing these incredible Iowa ties that we have every single day. If people want to learn more, they say, wait a minute, I didn't know she was from Iowa. Uh, how can they follow along? Because maybe we want to go back and watch some of these classics that yeah, she like was Yeah, like World According to Garp. Oh my gosh, yeah. classic. Yeah. Which, of course, that had Iowa ties in a different way, but that's yep, a different story. Yeah, that's a whole different story. <laughs> IowaAlmanac.com has the story, and also Twitter and Instagram at Iowa Almanac. And if you want a story about, wait, I didn't know she was from Iowa, we'll tell you another one just like this one tomorrow. Ooh. That's awesome. All right. That's, like that's, it. They call it a tease. That's perfect. It is indeed a teaser, yes. <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Very good, thanks. Right. Thank you. All right, curious as to what's coming up on the program here in just a little bit. Jackie's going to get you caught up with what's happening around town. Local news about 910 this morning. Mazzola folks are here. Oh, they are making something delicious again using corn oil. Again, we learned a little bit about corn oil last week that was mind-boggling when you find out the health benefits of corn oil. More details on that coming up in just a little bit. Then, bottom of the hour, Millie the Duck. 
a book oh. by a very young author, Caitlin Von Anan, is going to be here. And again, amazing story. A young lady who put this together. Want to make sure people know about this. So Millie the Duck is going to shoot up the charts. Jackie. Oh, I love it. That's the whole idea. Perfect. All right. Well, before we get to all of that, we want to talk about a story of we always encourage you to adopt an animal or, you know, rescue an animal. Mm -hmm. But you need to be careful of certain things, especially when diseases can happen. And there's been a recent outbreak. Let's break it right down for you with today's Health Minute. Puppies. Cute, soft, lovable, innocent little puppies. They're what the CDC says caused more than 100 people to get sick in at least 18 states. The cause? Campylobacter bacteria. It's a common bacteria that can trigger diarrhea, stomach pains, and fever. The major problem? It's often resistant to antibiotics. A CDC investigation found that puppies from six pet store chains from January 2017 through February 2018 caused the outbreak. No deaths have been reported, but at least 26 people have been hospitalized. And samples taken from each patient showed the bacteria was resistant to all antibiotics used to treat it. Most people can usually recover from Campylobacter bacteria infection in about five days without treatment. 99% of patients observed by the CDC said they had direct contact with a dog. And 95% say what they touched was a pet store puppy most of which had been treated with the antibiotics themselves. Despite all of this, the CDC says just use common sense when you're around new animals. Wash or sanitize your hands before and after handling them, but definitely don't think twice about bringing your new best friend home. For today's Health Minute, I'm Jeremy Roth. Oh, look at that face. Yeah, important note at the end. Don't let that keep you from right. adopting or rescuing an animal. Just be smart out there because things like that can happen. You can do that. All right, it's seven minutes past nine o'clock right now.